a massively developing story overnight. We now know the identities of at least two of the people who were killed or injured inside a new Richmond home. Yeah, detectives are saying that the potential murder suicide had happened yesterday morning, but they're still just trying to sort out all the details. WCPO's Allie Kramer, she is live in New Richmond this morning with new information from the school district. Allie. And guys, it's the superintendent that is now identifying two of the victims in this case, saying that middle schooler Ethan Kane was found dead inside his home yesterday and that his older sister, Samantha Kane, is the one who is fighting for her life at UC Hospital Medical Center, found there. She's the sole survivor uh, of her family. And you know what? Uh, they are just expressing ex extreme grief as they have counselors on hand here at New Richmond Middle School ahead of what will be a, a very difficult day for both students and staff members who knew and loved Ethan. Detectives say it's still early in the investigation after they found four people dead inside a home in Ohio Township. They could be waiting uh, to determine if this is a murder suicide and just exactly who fired those shots after interviewing that sole survivor who the school identified as Samantha, a recent New Richmond High School graduate. They say uh, that they were at the home on Rival Ridge for what they call a civil service. Neighbors say that the house was under foreclosure and that that civil service was actually an eviction, telling us that they actually saw the family moving stuff out when deputies arrived. And that's when they believe the shooting started inside the house. Friends of one of the victims saw the familiar house on TV, quickly realizing that it was one of their friends home and actually that their bandmate was among the dead. A super great guy. Uh, he loved his family. He loved uh, doing what he did with us. He's come to the shows and everything else and loved it and he earned his spot just like he earned everything else. You know, he earned it and we miss him real bad. You know, really difficult for four of those band members to kind of talk to us a little bit about their friend who, again, deputies have not yet identified, but saying, you know, they're stunned by this. They never saw anything like this coming, uh, and they're really just trying to grapple with the loss. Uh, of course, this is still a very much developing story, and we expect Claremont County investigators to be sharing more on the investigation a little bit later today, it's something that we are certainly going to stay on. We'll have the very latest coming up again online and at noon. For now, reporting live in New Richmond, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.